Now, some drivers plying between Kaswa and Accra are unhappy with the way social distancing is being enforced in commercial buses. According to them, the police appears to be calling for more than what the drivers and the GPR to you agreed. Some of them have been speaking with my colleague PCA Nanea Safo, who has also been monitoring the partial lockdown in parts of Greater Accra. <laughs> Sounds from the Kaswa tomb booth as stationed police personnel check for proper sitting arrangement in commercial buses in compliance with the social distancing protocols by officials. Some passengers are asked to sit properly. Others, who are considered as overload for the sake of the times, are asked to alight. The drivers are not excited about the move. <laughs> A vehicle approaches filled to the brim with goods and people. The officers are not only furious with the major breach of lockdown laws, but the fact that the passengers and the driver seem to have no idea of a lockdown. But the drivers are not the only people breaking the rules. Although Joy News observed from parts of Tudu, Agbobulushi and Kantamanto that many citizens had complied with the directives, there were others who were also out on the streets, including the cobbler. <laughs> After he uh, has a polish here and he does um, what he, we call in local terms a uh, shoe shine, a uh, cobbler duties. I asked him why he's operating here as at this time, uh, given that this might be described as many as a non essential service. He says, well, well he, he doesn't mind, he continues his job. Even if we, the team, uh, uh, join you, need a service, he can provide for us instantly. I'm of a free and I, I'm not a worker, I'm just from an Abame prisoner. I came from in some prison last week. So as I came, I don't have money to go back to my hometown. This is all just the beginning. As 13 days remain in the nationwide lockdown. PSA Nana Yao Safo, Joy News.